Hi everybody and welcome to Pen Testing Fundamentals. In this room we learn about different types of hackers, different uh, frameworks used when pen testing, different types of pen testing and more. So we're going to quickly answer some questions before we move to the practical part of the room where Try Hack Me will take us through the different penetration uh, testing stages so that we can get an idea of what it's all about. Okay, so, so let's just begin. Okay, so no question, uh, no questions here. So we can click on complete. Okay, let's see. So uh, you are given permission to perform a security audit on an organization. Uh, what type of hacker would you be? Uh, and that will be white hat. So let's type it in. Great. Uh, you attack an, uh, an organization and steal their data. What type of hacker would you be? And that would be Black Hat. There you go. And we submit. And what document defines how a uh, penetration testing uh, engagement should be carried out? And that will be the ROE document or uh, the rules of engagement documents. So let's type that in. So rules of, let's see, submit, there you go. Okay, let's see. Um, what stage of penetration testing involves using publicly available information? Uh, and that will be information gathering. Okay, so let's type that in. submit there you go now if you wanted to use a framework for pen testing uh, telecommunications what framework would you use note we're looking for the acronym here and not the full name okay so uh, the answer is the open source security testing methodology manual or OSSTMM okay so let's just type that in so OSS uh, T mm like this okay and we submit and what framework focuses on testing of um, web application and that will be the uh, OWASP uh, framework okay so let's type that in there you go okay and now let's see what's next uh, okay so you are asked to test an application but are not given access to its source code. What testing process is uh, this? And that would be black box. Perfect. Uh, and now you are asked to test a website and you are given access to the source code. What testing process is this? And that would be white box. There you go. Uh, and now let's go to the final uh, task here. So Acme has approached you uh, for an assignment. Uh, they want you to carry out uh, the stages of a penetration test on their uh, infrastructure. You decide by clicking the green button on this task and follow the guided instructions to complete uh, the exercise. Okay, so complete the penetration test engagement uh, against Acme's uh, infrastructure. Okay, so let's click on view site. Okay, so let's read about the first stage. So rules of engagement. Okay, so let's go through the stages of a penetration test assignment for the Acme uh, company. Uh, this stage of the penetration test is where you define three primary objectives. Cycle through the tabs below to explore these. Okay, so first we have permission. So for a penetration test to be ethical and legal, both parties, uh, the company wanting to, uh, wanting to test their application for uh, vulnerabilities and the company conducting the pen test will sign a document giving clear permission uh, for the intended actions. Uh, and that document uh, they are referring to here is the ROE uh, document, right? The rules of engagement document. Um, and by the way, let's just take a quick look um, 
yeah, you know, uh, take a quick look at the example provided here of that document. So it looks something like this. Um, let's see. Just give it a, a second or two. And there you go. So here we have it. All right. Okay, so let's continue. So uh, now let's check uh, check out test uh, scope, see what that is all about. So the test scope will define what targets or environments are being tested against. For example, the client may only want you to test uh, part of their application and not, uh, not their entire network. Uh, okay, and now rules. Uh, the rules define the type of behavior a penetration tester will employ. For example, you may only have access to part of the application and not the entire server that uh, hosts it, right? Okay, and now let's click on next to, to uh, read about the uh, next uh, stage. So, uh, information gathering. Uh, the information gathering stage of an uh, engagement is often undervalued. This stage involves, involves using publicly accessible channels to collect intel on your target. Abby, who has a public profile on LinkedIn, advertises that she works for Acme and even includes her email in her bio, which is a possible way we can target her work laptop and thus the company. Okay. Now let's move on to the next stage. So enumeration and scanning. The goal of this stage is to get a complete picture of your target. A penetration tester will try to identify user accounts, machines on their network, network shares, applications, etc. Information gathered from stage two and the uh, engagement scope document will help in enumerating your target. The enumeration phase is very important as your findings are used uh, to exploit your target's systems. So that will be uh, in stage four. Let's pretend Abby from uh, stage two made a post on LinkedIn sharing a blog post she wrote about Acme. From this post, you find Acme's, uh, Acme's web service IP address. So try scanning it, okay? So uh, let's try scanning the Acme's web service IP address. So let's just copy the uh, address right here and paste it uh, inside the input field here and click on scan target. Okay, let's see what we got here. So service uh, vulnerable, web, yes. Login, no. Okay, great. So now let's continue to the next uh, stage. Exploitation. The exploitation stage involves the knowledge from your enumeration to now identify and exploit vulnerabilities in any of their applications that are in scope. For example, we enumerated Acme's website in stage three and found that it was vulnerable. We would now exploit this vulnerability, thus uh, ethically hacking Acme's website. Exploitation is the use of a vulnerability discovered to gain unauthorized access to an information security system or data. Okay, so let's continue on to the next stage and see what it's all about. So post exploitation. The post exploitation stage starts when you gain unauthorized access to a system. At this stage of the engagement, your main goals will be to maintain access uh, to the system and escalate your privileges within the system to a super user or administrator user. Systems are usually set up with uh, normal users that don't have access to various uh, sensitive files and functions. Gaining access uh, to higher privileged users such as administrators, will allow you to perform actions that you wouldn't be able to as a normal user, such as reading sensitive files and gaining uh, access to all programs within the system. After uh, doing this, you'll be extracting uh, sensitive information from the system and attacking other components in the environment. For example, if the system is a part of a network, you will attempt to gain access to other machines in the network. Okay, and now the last stage, pen test report and clearing up.
This stage usually occurs at the end of a penetration test. As a penetration tester, you will have to explain the results of your engagement to the client. This is usually done in the form of a report that contains details regarding any security issues you've, uh, you found and how to mitigate them. The client will use this report to understand the security issues and fix the flaws in the technology stack that was tested. It's also best practice to clean up the environment you've been testing where possible. For example, if you were provided access to machines or uh, tooling by the client, you need to delete any artifacts that have been created as a result of testing. Okay, perfect. And here is our flag. So let's copy the flag and answer the question. Uh, let's see. We are right here or this is where we need to be to answer the question so there you go and we submit and we are done with this room thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video and found it helpful i would really appreciate it if you gave the video a thumbs up and of course make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos on try hack me cybersecurity, and ethical hacking thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you next time